Welcome to EA Sports PGA Tour Golf. I'm Sinek and this is The Road to the Masters. Sports and the PGA Tour are proud to present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. From the south course at Torrey Pines Golf Course, it's third round coverage of a San Diego tradition, the Farmers Insurance Open. Moving day here at Torrey Pines on this Saturday, a lot of action to come as we look at the third round leaderboard. Our leader here on Saturday is our featured golfer. He's got a two-shot advantage here to begin play. So here we are, Frank, Southern California, overlooking this magnificent golf course at Torrey Pines. And speaking of magnificent, how about the play of our featured golfer in just the second tournament of their career? A win last week at PGA West in the American Express. And now leading here on moving day at the Farmers. Uh, Rich, you know, I, I've been known to tell the odd dad joke, but, um, you know, Southern California, so many great bands. This player is on tune. I mean, there's no doubt about it. I mean, swinging smoothly. I mean, the whole game is totally on song. Walking the course today, let's bring in Nota Begay the third. 155 to the hole. Player has to contend with this left to right breeze. Ah, uh, good shot. Safely on the green and a birdie chance. A left to right breeze. Something to consider here as he eyes this second shot. And a good iron shot. Just not quite as close as what we'd all want to finish, but still. Here we go. This one for birdie. Oh, yes, plenty of pace to get up that slope. It is in for a birdie. And he gets it to 12 under par. Got it there, but not quite on target. Safely in. It's a par here at first. And he's going to stay too clear of the field. We move now to the short but demanding 389-yard par 4 second here at Torrey Pines. Fairway wood or hybrid might be the play here. Well, the second hole here at Torrey Pines South is by no means long. But by the same token, it's not easy. This is strategic play, certainly off the tee. Put yourself in position, get a good angle at that whole location.
Well, you can't walk out and drop it any better than that. That is a fine tee shot right there. Now, note of his second from the fairway. He's got 152 yards to the front of the green, 143 to the hole, pin sitting back right. Well, the easy part's done. It's on the green. The hard part now is a long putt coming up. Rich, there's one thing about good iron play. When you hit it and it comes off the club face, you know it's going to be close. More evidence there. We often say, Rich, you should always try and make it. I've got to disagree with that. Lag putting. It's just about taking the strain off the next one. There's always other holes to be played. From that distance, you settle for two putts. Yeah, well done. It's a birdie here at the second. And that's going to move him into red figures for the round and 13 under for the tournament. That finished off for par here at the second. And this will remain a three-shot lead. Well, this is one of the prettiest par threes you will ever see with the Pacific Ocean as a backdrop. You don't want to gaze at it too long because this better than 200 yard shot demands every bit of your focus and attention. This is a good one. Well, better to be short and in the bunker than long and over the cliff. So there's still a chance for an up and down from there. Okay, safely aboard, not particularly close, but we've seen plenty of balls get pushed into the canyon. So that's not all bad. Now from the bunker. Just a little splash out on this par three. Okay, safely on the putting surface out of the sand. Would have maybe liked to run that up a little further, but that's not the worst shot in the world. to give one back on a putt like that. Oh. That one in for a bogey here at the third. And that's going to tighten things up a little as the lead is down to two. One polished off for bogey. And that's going to drop his score back to 12 under par. 
Here's one of the really good par fours at Torrey Pines South. Not only is it scenic, but it's challenging, and it requires a good tee shot. Well struck in play, and you're happy to walk away with a par here. Yeah, nothing to fault there. Good balance, good follow through, and a good start to this hole. And some trouble here for our leader. That is into the bunker off the tee. Need to be careful not to take much, if any, sand here. His second to this par four. Second shot coming up. Let's bring in Iona Steven. Yeah, we're looking at 132 yards to the flagstick. Pin on the left portion of this green, so it will favor a wee draw. That's a good shot, and more importantly, too, a green in regulation, so birdie chance. Lovely pitch shot. Just nipped that ball off the turf. Just flew through the air beautifully. Sat down fairly quick as well. Good shot. Just going to wander a foot or so by. Okay, that one finished off. It's a par here at four. And the lead's going to remain two. That one finished off. It is a bogey here at four. And that's going to drop him down the leaderboard just a bit. This part four fifth here at Torrey Pine South measures 454 yards. That's not overly long by today's standards. The key here is to keep your tee shot out of those fairway bunkers. If you do and you're in the fairway, then you have a reasonable chance to get out of here with a birdie. Okay, that's going to split the bunkers. A good tee shot here at five. That one flirting with the left edge of the fairway. No fairway here. This one in that rough. Working out of the rough now for his second. At the par four fifth. Hmm, from the rough into the bunker or the frying pan into the fire. Sometimes mistakes, they just have a way of compounding themselves. This is looking really good. 
Ah, good shot. Safely on the green and a birdie chance. Third shot coming up now from the bunker. Yeah, look out. Kind of sculled that one, and that's going to be over the green and into the rough. Frank, I think you have to appreciate that he kept his head down and, and kept his head in the game, and he'll be able to get out of here with a bogey. Hey, I've been watching for a while, Rich, and I haven't seen touch that good for quite a while. Rushed in for a bogey here at the fifth. And the lead is going to drop down to a single shot. That one finished off. It is a part here at five. And he'll remain at minus 12. Well, after three lengthy par fours in the first five holes, this 564-yard par 5 sixth is a welcome sight. Frequently downwind, dog leg right. Eagle is a possibility, but birdie far more likely. No issues here. That is into the fairway. This starting up the right side. Two solid shots at the par five and found the green side bunker. Lie looks good. Now, just needed a good bunker shot. Hit that second shot on the button to this par five, but Frank couldn't get it to stop. Yeah, too good, too long, sadly. Oh, kind of bladed that one, got it out, but it is now in the rough. So that may be not his best of chips, but he'll have that for his par. You'd expect that to be a little closer from where he was, and that is far from a gimme. Oh, well, you hate to give one back on a putt like that. So now eyeing this one for birdie. Okay, nicely played. That's in for birdie here at six. And he'll move to 13 under par for the tournament. Okay, it's a bogey here at number six. And this is going to drop that lead down to three shots. On to the seventh. Now a tough hole here. A winding par for it, 462 yards. It is the number one handicap hole on the south course. And for good reason. 
An approach shot from anything other than the fairway is fraught with peril with a canyon beyond and a deep right front bunker guarding an angled and difficult to hit green. And that will do just fine. This up the right side off the tee. That's into the rough, and it's going to leave a fairly blind shot into a very difficult and narrow green. Uh, that's going to be into the bunker, and that is a very steep shot from there up to the green. From the fairway, Noda, this is second. 153 yards left to the hole, looking to make up for that drop shot with a birdie here. Oh, that's not too bad. Good shot. Uh, inside 20 feet, I would imagine. So a good chance, really an outside chance for Betty. Okay, well, that is on the green, but apparently just too difficult to get enough loft on it out of the bunker, and that winds up well beyond the hole. This is a 16-footer. Yeah, that's good putt. A birdie here at one. And he's got it to a 14 under par. That one in. It is a bogey here at the seventh. And fortunately, the lead's still a comfortable one at a full four shots. Some tough par threes on this south course. Here's another one, 177 yard eight. This hole deceptively uphill might be worth grabbing an extra club, maybe even two, to cut through this ocean air and cover that deep front bunker. A very sensible play there, right in the middle of the green. Well, he hung that out there to the right, and the green can't hold it. Look here at birdie. Yeah, and over a putt like this, you really got to trust the fact you've banked the practice, you trust the process, and certainly trust the line. back in a putt like that. Oh. 
Okay, that in for par here at the eighth. And he'll remain four clear of the field. That one finished off with a bogey here at number eight. And he's going to drop back to 14 under par. Well, this is a strong par five to close out this front side. It measures 615 yards. Obviously, it's going to be reachable into by only the longest hitters. But still, if you play it the right way, drive in the fairway, the appropriate layup, you can make a birdie. And this one going to settle into the bunker off the tee. Getting out more important than distance here as he readies his second. Okay, that's a good safe play. Get it back out into the fairway. Get some distance if you can and gets it to try and make a good third on this par five. Ah, oh, that second shot took some force on this par five just to get it into the greenside bunker. Now well positioned especially with a little savvy bunker shot. That's a head scratcher, that approach shot from uh, relatively close in. I would have been looking at 10 to 15 feet. All right, not exactly what you're hoping for, but safely on the putting surface with birdie still in play. can't tell you how good that is to get it to stop where it did from that far away. That is a super putt. Wow, just a pair off target. Those are the ones that will drive you crazy. Okay, that's in for his par here at the ninth. And he'll go out in 34, two under par for this front side. Just a tap in there for par at the ninth. And that's gonna make this a two under 34 for the front side. We start the backside at Torrey Pines with the 454 yard par four ninth. This one not as daunting as some others here with a good tee shot, birdie definitely a possibility. Beautiful tempo to that swing, and this is going to wind up squarely in the fairway. And when you're not playing very well, that's a good idea. You take out the three wood instead of the driver. Make sure you get the ball in the fairway. That's job one.
Early part of this back nine and a good approach shot. Now we'll have this for birdie. Now Noda, his second from the fairway. 147 to the hole. Pin is in the back right corner of this green. That's a good shot, and more importantly, too, a green in regulation, so birdie chance. Good effort, but that'll run two, three feet past the hole. 15 feet away. Tough start to the backside, Frank. Yeah, it doesn't bode well, too. You start losing confidence with the putter early on. So that's in for par to start this backside. And he'll maintain that four-shot lead. Okay, safely in for his bar. And he'll remain at 14 under. Moving now to the tough 11th hole here at Torrey Pines. Long downhill par three measuring 225 yards. But don't be fooled by that number. This hole often plays longer because of the wind. All right, you don't have to catch it on the middle of the face every time. That's on the middle of the dance floor and a birdie putt coming up. And that's going to be into one of the three bunkers surrounding this 11th green. Yeah, look out, kind of sculled that one, and that's going to be over the green and into the rough. I think that's what you want to do. Good lag putt. Yeah, they can't all go in. Frank, you have to appreciate that. That is excellent technique right there to get right around gimme range. Should help him walk away with just a bogey. No doubt. And this is such a tricky green, too. So that's very well done. Safely in. Yeah, it's a bogey here at number 11. And that won't help the cause one bit. So that rushed in for par here at 11. And he'll stay right where he is. Well, heading back toward the ocean, this hole, the 12th, at better than 500 yards and a par four, is typically among the hardest at Torrey Pines. It is a real beast.
Yeah, that's a nice swing, and the result is going to be a tee shot that is set up just fine. Now this is second to the par four from just off the fairway. Now back toward the ocean. This is second at 12. This could be a good one. Oh, just the strike, the sound of it. And the ball does the rest, great shot. This now for birdie at 12. And this will work right to left, but the slope is gonna be the big cause for concern here. Could easily run out five, 10 feet past the hole. A straightforward look here for birdie. Nothing to it. It's a birdie here at 12. And he moves to 15 under. That one safely in. It's a par here at 12. And he'll remain well in control of this tournament. Moving now to the massive 621 yard par 5 13th. You'll need a drive of 240 yards plus to carry that canyon. And if you go for the green in two, the second shot has to carry 260 yards or so. <laughs> Turning out to be a wonderful Saturday of golf here and this Another fine tee shot. This started toward the left side. Just what you want to do, land it in the fairway, get a little bit of rollout, and that is a good shot. Now from way back, better than 300 yards, a second to the par five. Well, if you've got a 300 yard shot in the bag, this is where you want to use it. This, likely a layup though. A birdie opportunity here at 13. And he's had trouble all round long reading these greens, and this is another putt with a pretty good curve to it. 
Mm, boy, that's a good stroke. Just a fraction off target, but you can't get the speed any better than that. Yeah, that's good putt. A birdie here at one to 16 under par. Okay, safely in for par here at 13. And he's going to maintain that substantial lead. We now arrive at the 437-yard par for 14th at Torrey Pines. The canyon running along the left side of the fairway is the danger here. So here at the 437-yard par 4 14th, that canyon that you can see running along the left side is, is pretty to look at, but obviously you want to stay away from there because you can make a big number if you hit your tee shot down there. Turning out to be a wonderful Saturday of golf here, and this, another fine tee shot. So the golf ball ends up in that first cut. It's a little bit less than two inches. You can see the golf ball should be able to get at it, but may not be able to control the spin. We'll see. A good break got him here. Now his second to the par four. Uh, good shot, safely on the green, and a birdie chance. I think I'd be fairly pleased with that, Frank. What do you think? I certainly do. It was so, so good. Oh, just when you thought they might pick up one. Yeah, settle for a par. Oh, no, a lapse in concentration there. That'll cost him. No issues there. It is a par here at 14. And that's going to keep this large lead right where it is. Safely in, it's a bogey here at 14. And fortunately, with a big lead already, very little damage done. The 15th hole is up next, a par four at 480 yards. Not a whole lot to it. A tee shot of the fairway should leave you with a reasonable approach into a green with bunkers left and right. No problems there. That's going to wind up safely in the fairway. That one up the right side. So that sets up a tougher second shot. Missing the fairway with the drive. Now in the rough. From the fairway, Noda, this is second. 151 yards to the hole. Would not surprise me a bit if you were to stick this one close.
Well, I don't have my tape measure out, but that looks like, oh, what, six, seven feet in there, but that is an excellent approach shot. Yeah, that was going to be tough to fly that all the way to the hole out of the bunker, and this is going to come up a good bit short. Mm, not quite online, and that'll drift a couple feet by. Right around six feet here for birdie. Ah, yes, never in doubt. It's a birdie here at 15. And he moves to 17 under par. Okay, a bogey here at the 15th. And he's going to fall to 17 under. So now to the final par three here at Torrey Pine South. It is the 16th, 227 yards. Good hole with those three bunkers protecting the green. There is that slight opening in the front. It would take an outstanding shot to give yourself a chance to make a birdie. Solid shot, and sometimes solid throughout the round will win the day. Okay, not taking any chances there. A good, safe play in the middle portion of the green. Pretty big left to righter here for birdie. Taking a confused second look at that one, that definitely had more left to right than he thought. See if he can get this one to drop here at the 16th for a birdie. Ah, this round finishing strong. Back-to-back -back birdies now at 15 and 16. And he's got it to minus 18. Okay, that'll be a par here at 16. And he'll remain at 18 under. Next up, the penultimate hole at Torrey Pines, 443 yard par four. Have to avoid the fairway bunker, 275 yards down that right side. Turning out to be a wonderful Saturday of golf here, and this, another fine tee shot. Well, fortunately, that'll be safe from the canyon, but it is left of the fairway and into the rough here at 17. On the green, Frank, but might need a pair of binoculars to see the hole. He's a long way from the band. You can barely hear the music from that far away. Oh, this is straight at it. It's a really good line. That's a good shot, and more importantly, too, a green in regulation, so birdie chance. Oh, 
Frank, that's just a really good putt right there. Yeah, that's why you call lag putting. You, know, you get outside a certain distance, and really your mind has to be about two putting and not trying to be a hero. That one just going to sneak on by. No problems there. That's a par here at 17. And he's going to stay at 19 under par. That one finished off. It's in for par. And he'll remain right where he is. This 18th hole is not overly long. 570 yards of par 5. And it's straight. Should be able to get home in two, but the key is you have to keep it in the fairway. If you hit in that rough, you're more than likely going to lay up short of that pond and try to make birdie the conventional way. But if you hit it in the fairway, good opportunity to go for it in two and finish your round with an eagle. Turning out to be a wonderful Saturday of golf here, and this Another fine tee shot. And that one going to be into the bunker off the tee. Want to make sure you catch this cleanly. There's a second to the par five. Oh, that's trouble. Now, just on enough earth there to slow that ball down, and it is going to wind up in the hazard. Certainly had enough power, just didn't have any touch. Uh, and that ball not wanting to cooperate, and it is into the hazard. Well, that is into the water at 18, and it is not a very satisfying way to end the round, but I think we might have to say enough's enough. I'm loving this round of golf. More shots, more touch. Another great one there. Okay, it's a nice finish. A birdie at 18. So could lightning strike twice here for the rookie on top of the leaderboard after 54 holes. And Frank trying to win for the second time this season. I would make them the favorite right now. Rich, too. I know they've just one win as you detail behind, but... Yeah, what comes after one, and that's two. It's really starting on golf's pyramid.